This is the Swordman Electra battery powered reel mower. This is easily the most unusual mower you've ever seen. And in this video, we're gonna take a closer look at it to understand what makes it so special. Now, whether you're considering one of these machines for yourself or you just wanna learn more about it, by the end of this video, I think you'll agree this has to be the most amazing lawnmower you've ever seen. And although Swordman did provide me with this mower for the review, they had no input whatsoever into the content or anything that I would or would not show you. Let's start with some basic specs. This is the Swordman Electra. It's got a cutting width of just over 21 inches. It runs completely on a battery and it does have a very unique cartridge system. And all that means is that the reel you see there in the front can be easily swapped for other attachments. And those include a verticutter, dethatcher, or even a brush for different types of applications. So that in itself is very unique with this machine because you can use this single power head to run multiple attachments for multiple jobs. Part of the Electra's unique styling is this front mounted grass collection box. It's made of all steel, it's got a carrying handle, but it holds about 50 liters of 1.76 cubic feet of grass clippings. Now you don't have to collect grass with this machine, you can run it in a mulching mode, and that's what I'm gonna be doing in most of the video so that you can see the reel in action. If you want to get the best cut possible for your lawn, a real mower is always going to be the way to go. Now throughout all my testing, I found the Swordman Electra to deliver a very good cut. In fact, plenty of areas of my yards have bumps and hills, and it always did a good job and left a great result. In fact, many of the blades almost look like they were cut with a pair of scissors, which is exactly what you want when you're using a real mower. The Swordman also includes a full width stainless steel roller in the back and the front and together these things leave excellent stripes. Every time I use this mower you can get the most defined stripes in your lawn. And this is our next feature. Ultra low noise. This mower is the quietest machine I've ever used. You could mow any time, day or night and you would never have a complaint from your neighbor because it is just so quiet. Now you may not think you need one of these stealth mowers just on noise reduction alone, but once you give it a try and mow the lawn with this little noise, it's a really nice experience. Adjusting the mowing height on your Electra is very easy to do. You just flip this one lever and there's a screw to turn, and then you can adjust it anywhere between under a quarter of an inch all the way up to almost two inches, and that's very unusual for a real mower because most of them cannot cut over one inch. Now on a battery powered mower, the most important thing is in fact the battery. And what Swordman did is they kind of employed the Rolls Royce of batteries. And this is a lithium iron phosphate battery. It's not the same as a lithium ion battery. They're both good, but these iron phosphate batteries can last up to 10 years. And the most important reason to use one of these is because they can allow this mower to mow up to 15,000 square feet on a charge. And throughout all of my testing, I was always able to get at least that much. So this battery was very impressive and I felt pretty good about this being at the heart of the mower. And here's the charging port in the back of the Electra. It's easy to use with the included charger and it is a smart charger that will shut off and it won't ever overcharge the battery. I also like that they put a meter on the charger itself so you know how far along you are in case you wanna to get to the mower sooner. Now as we get under the hood or on the Electra, it's actually a side cover that's held on with these four strong magnets, which means you don't need any tools anytime you need to get in here. And now we're looking at the motor or motors that drives the machine because this drive motor only controls the roller. This top motor controls the reel via that belt. And by having two motors, this gives you a real advantage because the machine via the computer can independently control the speed of each. So that means that regardless of whatever speed I'm walking or mowing at, it will make sure that the reel is cutting at the correct speed so that your grass is correctly cut. Now using the Swordman Electra is a pretty nice experience. And keep in mind, this thing has a lot of options. It even has cruise control. To use this machine, you start off by pulling the main power switch out. This is the only thing that's not on the handlebars. And then once you do, you wake the machine up by pressing that OK button and your battery meter will light up showing how much charge you have. Now by pressing that lock button and squeezing the right handle, you engage the front blade of the machine. And as you can see, when you squeeze your left handle, the machine just goes. And it is as simple as that if you just want to use it right out of the box. And here I'm pressing the R button, which is actually an electronic reverse and it brings the machine smoothly backwards. 
you want to customize it further, you can use this speed button. If you press the plus and the minus, you're going to control the maximum speed or the minimum speed that the machine will travel. You just can press or hold the button and a light will flash on the battery display. Now I found this to be a little bit confusing, but once you get used to it, you realize that you just press the button for higher speed or minus for lower speed and you just go from there. Now I wanted to test the mower out and I've used this for a few weeks and I've learned a lot about where this mower is at its best. And this type of a flat section of your yard is going to do very well for the Swordman. It does some great lines and it has no problem rolling over imperfections. In fact, this area might look pretty level, but there's lots of lumps and bumps and I've even got a couple of roots under parts of it. And this machine had no issue with that. But I wanted to test it on a part where there was a much more of an extreme slope to see how it would do. And this slope's about as extreme as I have in my yard. Now this is behind my pool and it's got a lot of fill in here so it really built up this angle a lot. I've struggled on this thing even using my walker along with some other push mowers and I didn't have high hopes for the Swordman especially where it's got that smooth roller. Now you can see I'm sliding a little bit there but what surprised me about this mower was that it held on much better than I thought. And some of that is because it's fairly lightweight. So I was able to stand to one side of it and brace the mower a bit, but this wasn't hard to do. I just kind of walked along and this mower held much better than I thought. So if your entire yard was 30 to 40 degree slopes, I really wouldn't recommend getting this as your primary mower. But if you've got a few slopes in the yard that need cutting, this thing did a much better job than I expected. And when you're finished mowing, I highly recommend blowing the machine off. This just takes a couple of seconds and it gets all those grass clippings off so that they don't rust or do any other damage to the blade. This isn't unique to real mowers, it's just a good idea for all of them and a lot of people leave out this step. Swordman really created an amazing piece of gear with this mower. I never would have thought that a battery powered unit could cut a lawn my size, but this one did over and over and it still had power left. But in addition, it gave me one of the best cuts I've ever seen from any mower. Now real mowers always cut the grass better than the rotary type mowers, but this thing was amazing and I really liked the results. So if you're someone that's looking for the best quality cut, and get an environmentally friendly or if you just want a quiet mower, this thing is a real winner. Now it's certainly not inexpensive, but what you're paying for is the technology, the noise, the precision. Because this mower can be a verticutter or a dethatcher, you can get a lot more use out of it. And if you went to buy those machines separately, they would cost more than this mower. So it's an investment that you have to really consider, but it could be the right mower for you. So the point of this video was to introduce you to this mower, let you know what I thought of it, and just at least teach you more about what's out there. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and stay tuned for more videos coming up.